All right, welcome back. Um, in the last video, we actually figured out what equation three was for our frame problem for the slope deflection uh, method. Um, here, I actually just wrote the uh, the three equations we uh, figured out, right? Equation one, equation two, and equation three. We have three unknowns, we have three equations. Now, there are a couple ways to do this. Um, first, you can, I guess you can, oops, one, you can do a system of linear equations, right? So you can, you know, solve for one variable, plug it into the other equation, solve for another variable, plug that into the third equation or whatnot. Um, do it that way, or you can do it by matrix form. Um, in the matrix form, uh, you know, you have your A matrix times X, is equal to B where X are your unknowns and A are your coefficients right uh, and then you can uh, B are your 0 0 negative 21 60 if I put this in matrix form what I'm gonna do first is uh, I'm gonna factor out all these EI's uh, so I have this this matrix here of 32 right 32 6 negative 30 32 6 negative 30 uh, then you have 6 32 negative 30 6 32 uh, negative 30 uh, and then down here you have 3 3 negative 12 3 3 negative 12 um, and then here your x um, is uh, your unknown so theta b theta c theta b theta c and then you have psi right uh, and that's equal to your 0, 0, and then negative 20, 160, right? So if you were to uh, f just, um, actually EI is here. If you were to solve this matrix out and figure out what X is, right? You'd, X would be the B over A or A. Uh, inverse times B right that's B right so if you were to figure out X I'm actually not going to do this because it's very time-consuming um, and we're not really here to learn matri matrices um, but this is just a, a way to do it. you can do it either way um, either way is fine I'd prefer the matrix way um, only because system of linear equations uh, you might make a algebra mistake only because it's uh, very very long um, so I guess uh, my point is if you were to do it however you want to do it um, your theta B theta C you should get um, theta B is equal to 5400 um, over 23 EI uh, theta C is equal to 5400 over 23 theta EI I'm sorry, 23 just EI. And then psi is equal to 6840 over 23 EI. So these are your theta A, I mean theta B, theta C, and psi values. What you can now do is take those three values and then plug them into all of these to figure out what MAB, MBA, MBC, MCB, MCD, and MDC are. Um, I'm not going to do that. What I will do is I'll give you the answers. So if you want to work out these problems and uh, see if you're correct, um, MAB uh, should be uh, about negative 109.565 uh, kilonewtons per meter. Um, MBA uh, should be negative 70.565 four three five kilonewtons per meter or kilonewton meter um, m uh, bc uh, would be seventy point four three five kilonewton meter um, m cb is equal to seventy point four three five kilonewton meter and m um, CD is equal to negative 
four three five uh, kilonewton meter and then finally you have MDC that's equal to negative 109.565 uh, kilonewton meter right so all I did was I figured out what theta B theta C and psi were and I plugged it into those unknown moment equations and these are the moments um, on each of the members okay so this is this is how you do a, a frame problem really it's no different from a beam problem you just break up the uh, beam um, and just write your moment equations for um, both ends of the beam uh, see how many unknowns you have and then figure out ways to get equations for them use those equations to get your three unknowns or however many unknowns and plug them back into your unknown moment equations uh, to figure out what the moments are um, at the ends of the members just like frames okay so I hope this helped alright 